Good day, folks. Welcome to Week 2 Organizational Behavior, and this is Sunday, January 9th, 2022. What should you be working on this week? Module 2, the history of organizational behavior. As we've introduced, that the world of work has changed, both from an individual perspective and an organizational perspective. But there's a lot that we can learn from history, uh, especially some of the theoreticians, and see how we apply that today. But we need to have this foundation. Um, what do you need to do this week and submit? First thing, you need to schedule your current events participation discussion. You've got to start participating in the discussion presentations. Quiz one, you need to start it before 11.59 on January 13th. It should be available sometime today. You need to complete your second reflection by January 14th at 11.59 p.m. Uh, when we look at this current events assignment, uh, the purpose in, is really for you to get an understanding of what's happening in the world today and how does it affect organizational behavior, both from the individual perspective and the organization's perspective. What's, what are they facing? I mean, COVID has changed everything. We can't just look at texts today. We have to say what's happening and where will it go. Build on the uh, historical background, but how are we going to apply this going forward? Uh, there's two components. You do a review and presentation discussion and then you need to participate in presentations in real time. Start with same mean matter, and you can use this in almost anything, including the quiz that's coming up. What does it say? It's telling us the historical piece, and that's, that's not the biggest piece. What does it mean we're interpreting something, but the most important is why does it matter? What are the implications? Why does it matter to you and I? Uh, matters to you and I, in these presentations is because we are in the workforce today and we are going to be impacted by this. So it's significant to us in our future behavior. Participation and engagement. You need to participate in four real-time discussion presentations. Uh, I'll post the times and Zoom invites of presentations. You'll see some here, but if we get more in this week, we can do them this week. Times are flexible. It's worth 8% of your grade to participate. That's a lot for just coming to presentations and participating. Uh, let me know when you're ready to present. We need to complete this by Thursday, January 21st. Time is tight in an intercession. Um, so let me know as soon as possible. Here's the link to join the presentations, and the link will be the same for all presentations. I'll hopefully update this when more of you tell me when you want to do your presentation. But here's the schedule as of right now. Monday, January 10th at 12.30 p.m. ESG. Uh, Tuesday, January 11th at 9.30 a.m. Fixing burnout without destroying your life. Stress and cursing. All of them interesting topics. Add your date and time now. The next one will be Thursday, January 20th. Uh, that I have scheduled is at 10 a.m. and it's going to look at what's been happening with flight cancellations, uh, the why and what could be the impact of them. Um, the next thing is the quiz. Uh, you must start it no later than 11.59 on January 13th. Once you start, you must finish. It's an individual assignment. It's going to cover the introduction in module one. Allow two hours for the quiz. Don't start it at you know, 11.59 and, and expect to be done in 30 minutes. Um, it's 20% of your grade, so that's a lot of your grade. Responses can be written or audio video. Um, sometimes when we talk, we can explain things better uh, than we can in, in writing. Um, the depth of response should be relative to the number of points. So if a question is worth 50 or 0.5 points and another one was worth 5, well, the one that's worth five has to be deeper. Read the questions carefully. Check your work. Respond. Did you answer the question? Okay. Did you ask answer it fully? Check your work. If it says give three examples and you give two, well, you're not going to earn full credit. And that's a why should you make a mistake like that? Some of you will. So that's the quiz. 
Um, the reflections, I do got to say, uh, I enjoyed listening to them. So many of you were so good. You reflected, and the depth of thought process uh, was amazing. You personalized it. So I hope it's well to you. Um, and again, as we move forward, you want to try to organize these in the best possible way to tell a story. Okay. Um, when you're using slides, you want to have bullets or pictures. You can talk around the slides. There's a difference, and where some may need to improve is first person. This is about personalization and you. We don't necessarily want to use he, she, they, or it. Um, we want to be less formal, and um, we're not trying to create an argumentative essay or a quote academic one. It's about you. How are you learning and develop? How can you use this information? What do you do well? What can you do better? So I think this is my favorite part of the class is, is this. Well, no, that's really the current events presentation. Um, so if you have any questions, please let me know. And uh, remember, schedule these, and uh, we look forward to seeing you this week.